Over the past few months, I've traveled to different locations around the world to see how people are approaching the future of how we work. Today, we're at the new lab in the Brooklyn Navy Yard. This is actually housed in a manufacturing facility. At its heyday, it was where ships were made in World War II, getting the name the Can-Do Shipyard. Well, that can-do spirit is still alive today, this time with the creative spirit of startup companies. I'm uh, Jared Skuglik. I'm an executive vice president here at New Lab, and we are a creative and collaborative working space. We house over 80 growth stage companies. We see New Lab as a place to bring together these companies, um, again, 80 different companies in this community in an open working environment. So we're here at New Lab yeah. also looking at the, sort of where work is going in the future, how people are working. Why, why did New Lab appeal to you and what are you getting out of it? Uh, New Lab's like our family. I mean, what's great about being around these different um, groups and these different minds is just the opportunity to collaborate. You want to affect carbon footprint. You want to make um, transportation costs lower. I mean, this is where kind of everything grows from. I also think that the thing about New Lab is it's like much like people talked about starting companies in Silicon Valley and software companies. It's the maximum number of collisionable hours to find people that are helpful to your business. Um, and you were one of the first companies here in New Lab. What, what's the benefit of working in a space like this? It really comes down to the people that they bring and curate into this environment. Uh, they're highly collaborative and really fun to work with. Today I'm talking to Audrey Gelman, an entrepreneur who's creating the future of work for women at work here at The Wing. I'm the founder, co-founder of The Wing, which is a women's workspace and community space. Um, and our vision was really to sort of resurrect the concept of women's clubs that existed and were a huge part of the suffrage movement. So what I take away from today's conversation is that the future of work is going to be a lot about how you express yourself, about the communities that you want to be part of, about your identity. I think also you have to take away the passion uh, for an entrepreneur like Audrey who goes forward in just total belief in creating something new and nothing's going to stop her. And I think that's what we've learned talking today here at The Wing. Today I'm in Dubai. My innovation journey has brought me here because so many amazing things are happening in Dubai. It is a hub of innovation bringing together government where you have government looking to disrupt itself to work more with startups, to work with big companies. So we've just walked around Dubai Future Accelerators. It's very exciting. You're seeding a lot of businesses. What I love that you're doing is you're connecting new businesses with government in many cases. How did it come about? His Highness was very keen on um, making uh, or creating the future, supervising the future. Uh, the idea is using startups rather than Fortune 100 and Fortune 500 companies because startups are passionate, energetic, and most importantly, nimble. Basically, the future doesn't isn't something that you await, but rather than uh, something that you create. What struck me this week is how the government of the UAE is trying to drive innovation. Uh, for one, they've got chief innovation officers in pretty much every one of their divisions. They've set up some really unique ministers. There's a minister of youth to make sure that, that jobs are focused on giving young people employment. There's a minister of happiness to make sure that work that happens here provides fulfillment and happiness. There's a minister of tolerance to make sure that people think about uh, diversity, diversity of thought. And my favorite, the minister of the future to set a vision, to make sure that uh, the UAE is focused on things like we're doing here, the future of manufacturing. I'm here at M-Hub in Chicago. M-Hub is really, uh, it's happening now, but it is very much the future of how people will be working. What M-Hub is, is it's a collaborative workspace for manufacturing. It brings together the physical and the digital and allows entrepreneurs, and small uh, batch suppliers an opportunity to create new technologies and tap into a community of intellect. Perception of America, you know, with manufacturing, it feels like a dirty job. It's you know usually in a basement. It's greasy. It's oily. But that's not what manufacturing is these days. You know, it takes a higher skill set to do some of the, the digital manufacturing, and um, you know some of the processes that are developed are a lot more efficient. The future of manufacturing is digital, but it's about community. In the past, it was about physical infrastructure and expensive machines. Now it's about being fast and being digital and having it distributed. We hope that over the next decade, we'll move from about 300,000 factories in America that look like GE factories to 3 million factories that look like this or in people's garages so or I think libraries. this is really important to just pause on this. This yeah. is the future. This is the future and it's also happening right now. It's about collaboration between big companies and small. It's about community, opening up to the best ideas wherever they may come from. 
policy that encourages big and small to work together, and it's seeding technology for the future and moving at a pace that keeps up with what's new and allows room to scale. This is the future of work.